This is the new Crypt Bloom armor and it's the strongest magic tank armor in the game. Alongside a high defense bonus, which is desirable when using the anime dead spell, it has its own percent damage reduction for both magic and melee, being 18% for magic and 12% for melee. This effect is doubled when using earth or shadow spells. It also has two special effects, one being a chance to inflict your target with death spores, increasing damage against the target from behind, excellent for group encounters, and it has a special shield that protects you for 15 seconds when you fall below 20% life points. So whenever you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax, and enjoy. The reason this is the strongest tank armor of the game is by its stats on paper. The armor set provides you with 1840 defense bonus, which means less attacks will actually hit you and more stuff will splash, 1890 life points, which is a lot of extra health. With three pieces of the armor set or more utilizing earth or shadow spells, you can reduce incoming magic damage by 36% and incoming melee damage by 24%. After all of that, you can reduce incoming damage utilizing anime dead by further flat 384 damage using all five pieces which is massive. Of course, there are other ways of reducing damage even more, and some of these are actually used in this video to show how insanely tanky you can get, like the Leviathan Ring, which has a chance to reduce damage by 50%, the Aegis Aura, which reduces damage by 10% with an 80k life points cap, the Hellhound Familiar, another 10%, Fortitude Prayer, Absorptive Perk, which can reduce an incoming hit by 20% at rank 4, Spirit Shield, Special Attacks from, let's say, the Noxious Staff, Staff of Light, Staff of Darkness, etc., and the Reef Walker cape, which you can use as a tank armor cape to get even more damage reduction from Animate Dead. At four pieces equipped, every time you take damage, you have a 6% chance to infect your target with Crotus Death Spores, which will increase the damage they take behind by 10%. So basically, flanking for your team for 15 seconds every time it procs. Really nice for raids or AOD, or somewhere else where you have a tank. With five pieces equipped, if you fall below 20% life points, you'll gain a shield with over 4,000 life points that will protect you from death, which does have a 120 second cooldown, but it's really nice for pretty much anything if you're learning which I'll we'll get to later. Now, thanks to Jasus again, I was able to test out this armor set quite early on release because I simply do not have the resources to simply buy expensive new gear and test it out for myself. During this video, I used very simple perks like Enhanced Devoted 4, Crackling 4, Biting 2, Reflexes, and Absorptive 4 in the armor set because I wasn't going to perk it out with really expensive perks. Now, the first place I took this armor set, full armor set, by the way, five pieces on Leviathan Ring, Hellhound Familiar, and all that good stuff, was Telos 500% Enrage. Now, I do not have the Warden title simply because I have no interest in going for it as I don't necessarily like Telos that much, but I just did it in practice mode and it's the exact same thing apart from having saved deaths. And wow, the difference in damage you take is unbelievable. It's actually unbelievable. It gets even better if you stand in the black beam, which of course reduces your own damage, but also reduces the damage you take. And it, it just it makes 500% Talos really feel quite easy, but you can definitely still die. It doesn't make you invincible. If you mess up mechanics at 500% enrage, like the hold still, or you get nuked in P3, you're still going to go down. It doesn't matter, you still need to know the boss to get the Warden title, and it's still a grind. But this armor set, without a doubt, makes 500% Telos if you really want that green Warden title significantly easier, and probably higher in Rages too, but the higher the hit is, the less damage reduction you're going to have from Anime Dead, of course, percentually anyway. At Elite Dungeon 3, this armor set was absolute memes. Now, Terracant does, of course, hit with ranged attacks, and you do not have any flat percentage reductions from this armor set against ranged attacks, but even though you can basically no food soul split the entire kill at Terracant with this armor set, and that's ridiculous because Terracant is a hard-hitting boss, and I was purposely tanking the ghost wall attack to see if I could just soul split my health back up, and I could. It's that stupid. Now, given I was using the Enfeeble spell with a spellbook swap to reduce damage by a further 10%, Hellhound Familiar, Aegis Aura, all that kind of stuff, so I was as tanky as I could be, but this was still actually just ridiculous. Keep in mind that my magic DPS is hot garbage, and I was able to keep my health above zero. Sure, I got a low at times, but that didn't matter because after the Ghost Wall mechanic was over, I would heal up. 
Now this magic armor set is of course best suited for bosses that do melee and magic damage. Now we recently received two bosses that do exactly that, being the Arglacer and Karapak. And at the Arglacer, this armor set is of course insanely good. This armor set allows you to tank the core for longer, which is obviously great for rage pushing as eventually the arms get more health. At Karapak, because his base magic hits aren't that high, this armor is incredibly effective for hard mode solos. Although so if you want a hard mode kill, you're probably better off just doing a trio of ranged. Now the real place this armor excels at is of course raids because that is one of the few places where tank armor is actually useful. And not at like Virago where you could use it but you're probably not going to need that much food even if you're base tanking or bomb tanking Virago. Sure it's nice but an experienced bomb or base tank is probably on a nigh hill and doesn't need it. Now to really get a feel for how strong this armor was, I of course needed to do a group boss, in this case Trio Beastmaster, however the viewers who are paying attention can see I'm the only one in the arena and I have everything on me, both pets, Beastmaster Durzag and no good way to reduce my stacks. Sure I can use freedom every now and then but I have high stacks, Beastmaster is salty and I'm just getting hammered but just look at how effective this armor set is in this clip, given that the pets are in melee distance, because if they use ranged attacks on one of them, I'm obviously going to have a bad time, but it's just insane how much raw damage you can take at Beastmaster Durzak with this armor set, and even if you do get into a bad situation, you could eat yourself out of it, for the most part anyways, and this is probably the ideal armor set to take if you're base tanking with a learner team. I can see this being incredibly useful at raids, with people learning at Beastmaster, of course, not Yakamari because he hits with ranged attacks. Now, I'm not sure if you noticed in the clips, but the little helmet icon are the death spores being activated, which increases the damage against the boss from behind by 10%. So yeah, this armor is great for Beastmaster Durzag, and trios were a lot of fun, so thank you Zappy Zappy and Jaces for taking the time and doing some attempts with me. Now, this may not be the reason you should get this armor, but this armor does make AF King's certain bosses even easier than before. For example, the Melee Rex Matriarch in Legacy, or Hellware AF King, or perhaps Vindicta without literally any upkeep with the Penance Aura and Blood Barrage. With the Penance Aura and Blood Barrage using this entire armor set, you virtually cannot die at Vindicta. Even if your overload runs out, you're just simply not going to die. But there's a character this method is significantly slower than melee AFK Vindicta or semi-AFK Vindicta using two parts of this armor set because the kills are about 1 minute and 15 seconds with melee and with this magic setup, I believe kills are about 1 minute and 45 seconds. So that's, well, a lot slower. Now, tank armor in itself for PvP is extremely busted already. Add anime dead to the mix, damage reduction, and that shield, and well, you have yourself the tankiest PvP you could imagine. It's actually quite disgusting that this seems to work in PvP, especially that extra 4,000 life points from that web shield, which can literally save your life in PvP, and you already have that high defense bonus from the armor, and you have anime dead, and you could use a shield and defensives, and even if you drop someone's prayer, they're still going to be incredibly tanky, and once they get that prayer back up, well, there's not that much you can do by yourself. Sure, a skill PK could probably take someone down with this armor, but uh, I'd say it's incredibly difficult. Even if you're using ranged, right? The damage reduction from anime dead and just the amount of tankiness this armor provides is is busted. It's actually busted. Now, I can't test this armor in the actual wilderness myself, but I'd like to know what a PK thinks about this because I think, judging from what I can see in Clown Wars, if you see someone in the wilderness using this armor, just give up and go home. The probability of you killing that person before they make it out alive is slim to none. Did I try this arm out for Slayer? Of course I did. I used it at the locations where I would use Sea Singers and Animate Dead. Did I notice a big difference? Yes, I suppose so. In damage taken, there is less damage taken. Does it really make a difference? No, I don't think so. There's no reason to get this arm for Slayer. You can do just fine using Sea Singers, Acto, or perhaps even Ganondromic for most tasks if you want that Animate Dead bonus to fully AFK. Which brings me to my verdict of this armor set. Is it worth buying? Unless you are really, really bad at the game, I don't see why you would get this armor set for learning bosses. Sure, it could be useful, but I think the real reason you would want to get this armor set is if you do a lot of tanking at Angel, Death, Raids, 
and you have learners with you because if things go bad, this armor set will save your life and will make that difference. DPS armor overall is going to be a better choice of pretty much 99% of the content in the game simply because boss dies faster, you take less damage and damage usually is more useful than defense in this game. That's just the way it is. DPS armor makes a massive difference in damage. I've made an entire video covering why you shouldn't be using tank armor. But since anime dead has been added and this armor is just so good at being defensive, it's an option, but for the majority of players at this price, you should avoid this armor set. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it interesting. If you did, leave a like down below and maybe even consider subscribing. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.